Hi everyone, for those who do not know, this channel is dedicated to volleyball players both old and new. Okay. We will teach you techniques that will benefit you in the best possible way, so don't forget to subscribe. In this video, we will start off with a description of each position and how they usually contribute to the team. In later videos, we will go more in depth into each position and certain skills. So let's begin. In order to win a game, the team has to win two sets out of three, and each set is up to 25 points. So as you can see in the example, the home team has 25 points, and the guest has 23, which signals that the home team has won that set. During a game, there's always six people on the court, no matter what. If you're looking at a court from a bird's eye point of view, which is this picture, the net is in the middle, which is right here. The person, let me go to a more zoomed in version of the court. This is just one side of the court. The person in the bottom right corner, which is also called the one position, is also known as a DS or a defense specialist, which is a person who specifically plays back row. The two, which is the next position, is right above that and all, that is also known as the setter position. I'm gonna circle each of the positions so you guys know which one each is. This area is ideal for setters up at the top because they don't receive the first ball so they can easily set to the middle, which is right here we'll get to later, and the outside, which we will also get to later. Then we go to the three, which is located right next to the setter. This is usually the middle hitter or also known as the middle blocker. Either or, this person is the same. This person is, or player is usually taller because there'd be a greater chance of, of preventing the ball from crossing over the net. The middle person is usually the only, the main blocker. Then we go to the next position, which is in, which is in the top left corner, and it is the four, which is also known as the outside position. This person is another front row hitter, and this is an ideal person to set during the game because they can usually hit spots and also the middle can. Next, we're going to the five, which is back here, and this is also another DS player who plays back row specifically for front row players who cannot and then the back row middle is known as the libero and is located in the six. And this is the libero. Um, this player is strictly for back row and receives many of the balls. The, the libero over here, the libero switches out with the middle blocker. So when the middle blocker comes out to do substitutions, um, my bad, the middle blocker comes back but behind the 10 foot line, not in front. The middle blocker is the only person that does substitutions behind the 10 foot line to switch out with the libero. The outside players or any other player have to do, if they do substitutions, they have to do it here. Middle blockers, they just switch out for liberos. Now going on to the rotations, which we'll get a new one. Okay, so we're going to learn the rotate. Let me just renumber the spots. Oh, a little ugly. So once again, the one is for the defensive specialist or the DS, which plays back row. The two is for the setter, the person who sets the ball to the middle or the outside. The three is a middle hitter or a middle blocker. The four is an outside set, outside hitter. And the five is another DS back row specialist. And the six is the libero, which, which rotates in only for the, um, the front row middle. So an easy way to remember the names of all of these positions is Ramsam. So by this, I mean the first person starting in the five, this person is also known as a right side hitter, meaning this person is opposite from the setter. The setter and the right side hitter 
which is also known as the DS, the DS, the setter, right side, setter. They are always going to be diagonal from each other. The next position, which is O, which is what we went over, the outside hitter. So R, O is the first two. And then we move to the three, which is the middle. R, O, M, as you can see. And then we move on to the setter, which is, stands for the S. And then we go to the back row, which is known for the um, another outside player. So as you can see, I, these two players are defense specialists when they're in the back row. But when they get to the front row, they become a right side and an outside hitter. Opposite outside hitters, my bad, outside hitters are always going to be across from each other, no matter their location on the court. Outside hitters are across from each other. Right side and setting, or setters are across from each other. And last but not least, we have the six, which is also known as the other middle because they substitute out. The middles are always going to be across from each other no matter what on the court. The outsides are going to be across from each other on the court no matter what. And the setter and the right side are going to be across from each other. And then there you have it. You have R, O, M, S, O, M. Rum, Sum. It's an easy acronym that helps you remember all the positions and you can and if you don't remember on the court where you're supposed to be at a certain time, you can always just look to the person across from you to make sure you have the right person. So that's it all we have for our first video today. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in. This just gives you a brief overview of each of the positions, what they do and how to remember them easily. Stay tuned for our next video. We hope you enjoyed. Thank you.